Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Friday, January 21st and this is the NBA DFS video for today. So in today's video I'll be going over a recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out, talking about the injuries in play for tonight's slate is an 11 game slate overall, and then talking about my picks for both FanDuel and DraftKings for tonight as well. But without further ado, we'll get into it with a recap of yesterday's picks. We're going to start off with the DraftKings side. We're going to start off with point guard Luka Doncic. $10,400. Looking for 52 points on him. He got to 49, so he was a mess. He had eight turnovers yesterday. If he gets that in about half, we would have been looking at a very good hit for Luka Doncic. Still a guy that did rather well and didn't hurt your team overall. Then in shooting guard, we have Brandon Ingram, $8,000. Looking for 40 points on him. He got to 31.25. He's a miss. Only played 27 minutes, 4 for 10 shooting from the field, and did get injured in this game. So kind of unfortunate that he got hurt in this game. Definitely limited his upside overall. Then at small four, we had Chris Duarte, $4,300. Had a big, big night last night, 47.25 points. Very, very good hit there. So, And then at power four, we had Jonathan Kaminga. Been in that starting lineup, been playing pretty well, honestly. $4,300, looking for 21, 22 points. Ami got to 15.25. He was a miss, only played 15 minutes in this game. Just kind of unfortunate that he did not play more in this game. This game was actually a lot more competitive, and the Warriors ended up losing. So that was kind of a surprise last night. And then last but not least, at the center position, we had Goga Batazzi, who was $3,700, looked for 18, 19 points on him. He got to 33.25, so he was a very good hit as well. So technically, two out of five on the DraftKings side. Luca was a guy that probably didn't kill you yesterday, though. You know, Brandon Ingram could have been better if it wasn't for the injury, and then Kaminga was just kind of a wash yesterday. But even if you use this core with a couple other decent players, you still probably cashed. And then on the Fandle side, we had Kemba Walker, $5,500. Look over 27, 28 points on him. He got to 11.4. He was a miss. 21 minutes, only one for five shooting from the field. So just not a good day for Kemba Walker overall. At shooting guard, we had Torrey Craig, $3,500. Look for 18 points on him. He got to 32.9. So he was a hit. Brandon Ingram, once again, $8,200. We were looking for 41 points on him. Got to 30. So he was a miss. Obviously, he only played the 27 minutes, and he did end up getting injured. And then Julius Randle, $8,700, look for 43, 44 points out. Got to 24.4. He was a miss. A terrible, terrible game for him last night. Only played 29 minutes and was 1 for 9 shooting from the field. And then last but not least, we had Jonas Valanciunas, $7,300. Looking for 36, 37 points out. He got to 39, so he was a hit. So 2 for 5 on the Fandle side as well. Not the best day in the world, but even if you went with the cores that we did have listed here and put some other good plays with it, you still had a chance to cash last night. But with that being said, we'll get moved over into the injuries and play for tonight's slate. So once again, it is an 11-game slate. It looks like we have three games that start right away at 7 o'clock. So we're going to start off with the Lakers, who are with Anthony Davis, Sekou Duboya, Kendrick Nunn, and then LeBron James is probable, so no changes for the Lakers. For the Orlando Magic, we have Michael Carter-Williams, Markel Fultz, RJ Hampton, Jonathan Isaac, Etwan Moore, all this is out. And now Wendell Carter is probable to play tonight. We'll see if he's back or not. Uh, the newest one, obviously, is RJ Hampton, so could affect some of the rotations for this Orlando Magic team overall, but not anything like too drastic at this point in time. Then we move over to the Clippers, who are without Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and Jay Preston. And then we have Nick Batum and Marcus Morris. Both this is questionable. I'm going to assume that Nick Batum is not going to be able to play today. Marcus Morris is a personal issue that he missed the last time with, so we'll see if he's back tonight or not. For the 76ers, they're without Danny Green, Shake Milton, Ben Simmons, and Matisse Thybul. So those four are the same as before. But now we do have Seth Curry listed as questionable with an ankle injury as well. We'll see if he's able to play today or not. Otherwise, there could be some value overall on the 76ers team. We did see Charlie Brown enter the starting lineup the last time. Not a guy that we particularly want to play for DFS, but just a little note for in terms of rotation changes, at least in the starting lineup last time. Then we move over to the Oklahoma State Thunder. We have Derek Favors listed as questionable, and Vit Kredic is listed as out. They do get Kendrick Williams back tonight, so that's a little bit of a, you know, it's a little bit of a change to their bench and their rotation overall, but nothing like too major. Then for the Charlotte Hornets, P.J. Washington is questionable, so we'll see if he plays tonight or not. If he doesn't end up playing, probably helps out guys like Mason Plumlee and Jalen McDaniels. Probably still don't want to play Plumlee too much. He's been playing a couple of bigger minutes and not really doing too much, but McDaniels off the bench maybe is the guy that becomes a little bit more interesting. Then we move down to the Miami Heat, who are without Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, Markeith Morris, Casey Akpal, and Victor Oladipo, so the exact same as the last time out. The Atlanta Hawks are without Bogdan Bogdanovich, but then we have Clint Capella, Gorgie Jang, and Daniil Gallinari, all this is questionable. So we're really just going to have to see who ends up playing out of that group of three. For the Portland Trailblazers, they're without Damian Lillard, Larry Nance, Norman Powell, and Cody Zeller once again, so no changes to the guys that are out. Nazir Little is questionable to play. I believe he's dealing with an ankle injury that he suffered in the last game. And then Dennis Smith Jr. listed as probable. He did play last time out as well. 
For the Boston Celtics, Bol Bol, who they recently acquired, is going to be out for some time, so he's listed as out. And then Aaron Neesmith and Marcus Smart, both listed as questionable, both ended up missing the last game. For the Chicago Bulls, they're without Lonzo Ball, Javante Green, Derek Jones Jr., Zach Levine, and Patrick Williams, so no changes there. Obviously, the biggest news is that Lonzo Ball is having surgery on his knee. He's expected to miss six to eight weeks. The Milwaukee Bucks are essentially all the way healthy besides Brooke Lopez being out, who's been out for quite some time at this point. Then we move over to the Toronto Raptors, who are without Ken Birch, Goran Dragic, and then Gary Trent. Still, this is questionable. He's missed the last six games. We'll see if he's back tonight or not. The Washington Wizards are all the way healthy. Then for the Brooklyn Nets, we have Kevin Durant, Joe Harris and Paul Millsap all listed as out. And then Nick Claxton and DeAndre Bembry both listed as questionable. Both had not played in a couple games now. On the opposite side of that game, the Spurs are all the way healthy. For the Memphis Grizzlies, they are without Kyle Anderson, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Tyus Jones, and Killian Tilly. So the exact same as we were looking at the last time. Contra was the one that ended up playing big men. Zaire Williams played big men as well. Not so much DeAnthony Mountain, but that could definitely change tonight as well. For the Denver Nuggets, they're without Kankar, Jamichael Green, and Jamal Murray. So no changes there. For the Detroit Pistons, they did get Kelly Olenek back the last time, so that's something of note. Killian Hayes listed as questionable. We'll see if he plays tonight or not with his hip injury. Luca Garza, Jeremy Grant, Frank Jackson, and Isaiah Livers all listed as out once again. And then for the Utah Jazz, they're without Donovan Mitchell and Hassan Whiteside once again, so no major changes there. Uh, you know, there's going to be some value once again without Donovan Mitchell in that starting lineup. For the Houston Rockets, they're without John Wall, so they're essentially all the way healthy or as healthy as they're going to get throughout the season. Golden State Warriors are without Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, James Wiseman, and it was announced that Andre Iguodala will not be playing tonight. So those are the four that are going to be out. Nothing like super, super major. Obviously, Klay Thompson is probably the biggest one, so Jordan Poole should be in that starting lineup once again tonight. But with that being said, that's a quick, quick little rundown on all the injuries in play for tonight's site. There's definitely going to be a few that we're looking out for tonight. As always, I'll be listing all the injury updates, COVID news, and starting lineups down in the comments below. So definitely make sure you're checking that out throughout the day and as we get closer to lock. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off with point guard John Morant, $9,300. Looking for about 46, 47 points out of him. Averaging about 45 on the season. Currently having projected for 50 points tonight. We saw it the last time out that he pretty much had to be this whole offense for this team. And I expect the exact same to happen once again tonight. So John Morant's a guy that I'm going to be having in a lot of my lineups tonight. Then his shooting guard went with a cheaper pay down option and Aaron Wiggins should be in that starting lineup once again playing decent minutes. A little bit scoring dependent, but at this point in time, you know, just a cheap option. There could be a better option that opens up throughout the day. $3,500. Looking for about 17, 18 points out. Currently I have projected for 19 points tonight. Then a small four, we're going right back to DeAndre Hunter. $4,800. Looking for 24 points out. He's been playing rather well as of late. Over 30 points throughout the last four games. And I currently have him projected for about 25, 26 points tonight. Definitely has a little bit of upside if he's shooting the ball well once again. Then at power four, we're going to go with Jaron Jackson Jr. $6,300, looking for 31, 32 points out. Essentially what he's been averaging all this season. As I mentioned with John Morant, there's not a lot of other guys on this team that are able to do things, especially on offense, especially in terms of like actually scoring the ball. So Jaron Jackson's going to be that second option on this team. No Desmond Bain, no Dylan Brooks taken away from him. So it's just him and John Morant at this point in time. So Jaron Jackson's going to look pretty good once again tonight. And then with that being said, I currently have him projected for about 34 points tonight. Then last but not least, we're going to go to Bam Adebayo, who's coming off a monster, monster game. Part of that was benefited because Jimmy Butler did get ejected in that game. But I still like Bam Adebayo tonight at his price tag of $7,500. Looking for 37, 38 points at him. I currently have him projected for 39, 40 points tonight. Should be a good little matchup for him against the Atlanta Hawks, especially if Clint Capella is unable to go once again tonight. But with that being said, if you go to these five players who have $18,600 remaining, $6,200 per player. So typically I like to leave a little bit more money on there. This, you know, this is the early core. I always post the updated core about a half hour before lock. So some of these picks could change. We could get some other value that opens up throughout the day and give you guys some more money to spend outside of the core five that I do give you initially. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to Fandle and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off at the point guard position. We got Mike Conley, $5,700. Looking for 28, 29 points out. He's essentially averaging 28 on the season. Obviously, there's no Donovan Mitchell once again tonight. Looking like a very good play. Last time out, we played him. Kind of had that slow start, but had a very strong second half. I currently have him projected for 30 points tonight. Then at shooting guard, we got Josh Giddy, $6,100. Looking for 30, 31 points out of him. Essentially, what he's been averaging on the season. Currently having projected for 32 points tonight. Should be a little bit of a back and forth game between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Charlotte Hornets. Hopefully, it's a game that does not result in the blowout for the Oklahoma City Thunder. But Josh Giddy looking like a pretty solid play once again tonight. 
Then small four, we're going to go with Joe Ingles. He, you know, a very, very cheap price tag at $3,700. Looking for about 19 points out of him. Averaging about 17 on the season. He has not had the best year, but he was in that starting lineup in place of Donovan Mitchell last time out. Played a little bit better in that game, so if he can do that in back-to-back games, I think he could definitely pay off at this price tag. I currently have him projected for 20 points tonight. Then at power four, we're going back to Bobby Porter's kind of Mr. Old Reliable at this point in time. $6,300. Looking for 31, 32 points out. Essentially, he's been averaging on the season. Still currently having projected for 32 points tonight. Can't really say too much about Bobby Porter's. Just a simple play. A guy that's rather consistent at this point in time. You know what you're going to get, and his price tag hasn't been moving. Then last but not least, we have Bam Adebayo, $7,700. Looking for about 38, 39 points at him. He's averaging about 38 on the season. Obviously, this is about his third or fourth game back at this point in time. Had that big game the last time out, as I mentioned on the DraftKings side, but Jimmy Butler did get ejected in that game. I still expect a pretty good game for Bam Adebayo once again tonight. Currently, I have him projected for 39, 40 points. And, you know, if Clint Capella ends up missing in this game, looks even better for Bam Adebayo once again tonight. But with that being said, if you go with these five players on the FanDuel side, you have $30,500 remaining, just over $7,600 per player. So you can definitely pay up for a stud potentially even two with this and then find some value plays to pair along with them or you can take a little bit more balanced approach which is something that's been working rather well so far this season on the Fandle side but with that being said these are my picks for both Fandle and DraftKings for today January 21st as always if you have any questions related to NBA DFS be sure to leave them down in the comments I'll get back to you as quickly as possible also be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate whether it's on Fandle or DraftKings heck if you want to talk a little bit of Super Draft definitely down to talk some Super Draft as well. JC Money Design and I will be going live right around 5 p.m. Central Time tonight over on his channel to talk some Super Draft main slate and then after we get done with the Super Draft main slate talk we'll also be talking the Super Draft Pro Contest which is a co-6 contest today for the Toronto Raptors and Washington Wizards games. So that's definitely going to be a lot of fun as well, but definitely be sure to check that out. And then as always, I'll be listing all the injury updates, COVID news, and starting lineups down in the comments below, as well as my updated core about a half hour to an hour before lock, just depending on all the news that we do get throughout the day. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers helping you with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL, helping you with your fantasy football teams. And then as we get closer to NFL draft season, we're going to be talking some NFL draft prospects as well. And then with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Video. Definitely means a lot to me, and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.